monstrate how to do modified matter suture or babo and magon technique of uterine closure in cesarean section the suture material used is 10 vicryl or number 1 vicryl first as usual we take the angle of the incision the first bite will be taking the angle of secure the angle of the incision now the technique will start first bite is full thickness bite starting 1 cm away from the uterine edge enter the first bite muscle muscle layer and decidue take a full thickness bite coming at the junction of the decidue and myometrium this is the cervical edge and enter at the decidue myometrium junction on the caudal end and come out 1 cm away from the suture margin now the assistant will be giving traction on this this is the first full thickness bite now it will be taking a superficial bite which is serosa and subserosa serosa and subserosa serosa and subserosa in the same direction and take it like this the assistant will not leave assistant will hold give the traction only on this then you have to take the full thickness bite starting 1 cm behind this bite start tangentially coming at the decidue myometrial junction and enter at the decidue myometrial junction on this edge tangentially basically you have to identify the cut margins properly now there will be two loops you have to tighten the, this caudal loop for that you make this loop short use the needle holder and tighten this and pull like this this is the way it should be tightened and the traction will be given by the assistant only on this after tightening this next is again superficial bite can use the forceps this way uh, zero sense of zero sa zero sense of zero sa take it like this no 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 need to hold no need to hold only on this then the full thickness bite in the same direction starting behind this parallel to this and start tangentially tangentially at the decidue myometrial junction come out at the decidue myometrial junction and at the end of the decidue myometrial junction on the opposite side this is very important we should take the identify the tissue layer and take at the correct correct level now there are two loops caudal uh, and cephalic make this loop short and you are tightening caudal loop first tighten like this and tighten like this and the assistant will get traction only on this full thickness bite do the same procedure now superficial bite superficial bite this is parallel to the perpendicular to the, to the edge then full thickness bite starting behind this tangential coming at the decidue myometrial junction 
enter at the decision my material junction the two loops are identified this is the caudal which you make it short and tighten the kefali code and this is tightened now again superficial parallel to this bite it should be taken like this not like this because when the it can come like this so if you take on this side it will stay like this then full thickness behind this the studio my material junction enter at the decision of my material junction tangential and come out at the zero surface two loops make this loop short tighten this loop and tighten this again superficial parallel to this starting behind this the three my material junction enter the three my material junction two loops shorten this loop tighten this loop and this loop again superficial zero sa sub zero sub muscularis behind this start tangential decidual myometrial junction enter at the decidual myometrial junction tangentially and come out two loops the caudal is shortened and the pharic is tightened and this is tightened superficial superficial full thickness come at the decidual myometrial junction enter at the decidual myometrial junction and tighten the fali glue first and then caudal loop superficial superficial and deep bite tangential tangential two loops tighten this tighten this superficial superficial deep and deep so 
position to position and the byte the last byte you can take it through analysis so that you can go beyond the angle this side and try this I'm going to show you that. 